In this video, you will learn when and how to quote, paraphrase, and use sources with integrity. The main two methods of citing or giving credit for someone else's work are quoting and paraphrasing. Quoting means taking direct passages from other people's works and including them in your own work. The quoted text is enclosed within quotation marks and followed by either a bracketed in-text citation or a footnote, depending on the citation style being used. Though quoting is a good way to support your arguments, it interrupts the rhythm of your writing and does not give you a chance to show your own synthesis of the sources. You will find that in science disciplines, quoting is less common than paraphrasing. Paraphrasing is the act of taking another person's words and putting them into your own. Using your own words and your own phrasing are key to a good paraphrase. As Souls explains, to paraphrase a source effectively, Make sure you understand the original completely. Read the original carefully several times, then try to write a paraphrase without consulting the original. In this way, you will be more likely to put the original into your own words and produce a paraphrase that will blend in with your essay clearly and effectively. Then, check the paraphrase against the original to make certain you have not altered the meaning of the original. Here are a few tips for using sources with integrity. Keep track of your sources. It is very time-consuming to have to go back and retrieve a resource after you have used its information. Keeping track of your sources from the beginning prevents this from becoming a problem. Citation management software programs like Zotero can help you keep track of your sources. See the UNB Library's Guide to Zotero for more details. Only use sources and information that you fully understand. You can't paraphrase effectively if you don't understand the content. Start your research at your own level and advance from there as you learn. Take good notes and write from your own notes. Taking notes from your sources decreases the likelihood that you will plagiarize by further removing you from the original text. Give yourself enough time to complete your work. Many cases of accidental plagiarism occur as a result of trying to finish a paper in too little time. The pressure to complete the work stops some people from taking steps to keep their work clean. When in doubt, cite. When you have any doubts about whether you should cite something or not, cite it. UNB Writing Centers, located on both the Fredericton and St. John campuses, offer help with all aspects of academic writing and other essential skills, from note-taking, time management, outlining a paper, formulating a strong thesis, to formatting citations. They also offer online guides to the major citation formats. For this paraphrasing practice, pause the screencast, read the original text and write your own paraphrase. Then compare your paraphrase to the original text. Next, read our paraphrase and compare it to yours. Which paraphrase was more successful and why? There are many citation styles, and each discipline tends to prefer one or two citation styles over the others. These are the preferred citation styles of the discipline, but your instructor may want you to use something else. You should always check with your instructor before formatting your citations. In this video, you have learned when and how to quote, paraphrase, and use sources with integrity.